welcome back to my channel my name is Tawzani Kava for those who are new and for my returning subscribers thank you for coming back if you're not subscribed please make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss any of my uploads I upload on Wednesdays and Saturdays every week today I'm gonna show you my 2021 favorites these are the products that I really enjoyed using and having last year I have this base tag team which is my Bobby Brown vitamin enriched base you guys have seen me use this numerous times and that's how much I have left so I love this primer it's so hydrating and the makeup just sits so well on top of it I really like it I'm definitely gonna repurchase it whenever it finishes but not right not right away because i have other primers that i want to try i feel like when you do makeup every now and then you want to try different things so that you can have more knowledge about what's out there and what i can recommend for you guys and then i have my nas natural radiant foundation in the shade macau I've also used this many, many times. It's actually almost finishing. I don't know if you can see. And I'm so sad about it. I really, it has such a good coverage. Um, um, shade is not perfect. I've said before that it's a bit too olive and kind of like mustard. But I make it work with my bronzer and my concealer. So yeah, I love it. Love, 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 love. Again, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna buy this again one day just not right away because there's so many foundations that i want to try first next i have my bronzer it's the anastasia beverly hills bronzer in shade cappuccino which this is also not a stranger to you guys if you've been watching my channel you know this is my girl and almost finishing which i'm so sad about but good 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 for it it's good for products when you use it over and over again because it means that it really works the next makeup product i have i have this palette that i want to talk specifically about this and that is the woodwinged eyeshadow from mac and i love this i use it on my eyelid as an eyeshadow of course but i also like using it as a highlighter i'm wearing it today and it's just it's so beautiful um i think i've said this before but if you wanted to choose which colors you should buy from these it's definitely woodwinked and uninterrupted and then i have some lip products so there they are the first one is this lip liner by MAC and it is in the shade cork and I love it. It's like pretty much the same shade as my skin, just a little bit darker and I love it. I either use it on its own to give me a really nice nude, almost like, well, yeah, like blending into the rest of my face look or I mix it with other colors including this look at lipstick from Dose of Colors and this was a gift by my sister to me and I also love it. This is also the shade Cork. I don't know if I said that and that is it over there gorgeous love it and then this superstar is the maybelline lifter gloss in the shade stone i don't know what like i know the names of these products but every time i say them it's like i want to look at them and read them and then i get all confused <laughs> and that's what it looks like over there and i have never loved a gloss more than this it's so pretty i'm wearing it today you can either wear it with a lip liner and just on its own or you can put like a full look 
underneath like you can wear this the mac lip liner and then put the gloss on top but either way it's just so nice and i definitely want to buy other shades it's very hydrating and it says i don't know if you're gonna you're not gonna be able to see that it says it has hyaluronic acid which and then i have another superstar which is my mac you see you guys know that i love these products because i'm mentioning them over and over and over again this is my studio fix powder i have a video talking more in depth about these mac powders that i have but that's what it looks like it fell and it got a crack you guys can you believe it at least it was just a little crack and i love it so much i use it every time i wear makeup i also take it with me to touch up if i get oily it's more like when i get oily i will take it to touch up and it's just so good i like to use it with my next favorite which is this real techniques setting brush which is dirty because i used it today and that's what it looks like it's the most perfect little small banana brush and and i set the underneath of my eyes with it like this i just love it i also take it with me in my bag so that i can use it to you know fix myself and another brush that i love it's not really specifically this brush it's it's the technique that i use this brush for this specific one is from a brand called zorea and it's also dirty because i used it so what i like to do is i take my foundation you guys have seen this in other videos but i'm gonna explain it for anyone who's new and then you just paint your foundation on your face and then let it sit for like 30 seconds to a minute but to be honest sometimes i take a little sit for longer than that and then it gives you the best coverage when you do that and then after that i'll take either a beauty blender or another makeup another foundation brush and then i'll buff um the foundation in but i start with this first if you haven't tried that get this they have them at clicks and discount for very cheap so this one came in a set which was also affordable i think i bought it on take a lot if i'm not mistaken as always everything i mention will be linked in the description below next i have this body butter from the body shop and this is almost finished it's a body butter but i've actually been using it on my face and i love it it's so thick and hydrating and just beautiful i'm sure it will work also amazing on your body but i've been enjoying using this on my face it is thick though so you have to make sure you work it in into your skin and it gives a nice beautiful glow as well so love her and then i have my eucerin which i think i had this in my previous yearly favorites for 2020 i think so there she is this is actually a new one i recently ran out and if your hands get dry because of hand sanitizer or if they just get dry in general she's your girl also for the lips it's great next i have my perfume i actually just realized that i've used this quite a bit i've had it since september my husband bought this for me for my birthday and it also comes with a travel size bottle and it's so nice it smells so fresh Ugh smells so fresh and so floral it's just it's delicious i feel like i should always have a bottle of this my entire life i should 
it's also not expensive which is great it's like in the same price range as zara perfumes which don't be scared of the fact that it's zara it's actually not that expensive most of them are not expensive so this is basically part of my personality at this point next i have this eco styler gel i used to have the one with the orange writing and i think it has orange lid and i loved that one and i still recommend it to this day but this one works so much better on relaxed hair if you want to sleek your hair because it's so much lighter than the other one that other one is more like thicker and yeah this one is much lighter so i love this on my relaxed hair when my hair gets like when the relaxer starts to wear off this one is not that effective even on my edges because like i said it's much lighter so honestly i would say buy both and i'm also gonna go and pick up the other one and then i also have this brush there's hair on it please don't judge me i just used it and it's from what is this brand tangle teaser they sell it at clicks and this cam right? yeah 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 so that's what it looks like it's like a travel brush and this lid makes sure that it doesn't touch on your other things in your bag so i love this i've had this for years and years and i love it and it hasn't worn at all i use it on my natural hair on my wig it's much better on the wig or on my relaxed hair when my hair starts to become more coarse it's not that effective i need something with stronger bristles but i love her and then i also have this rubbing alcohol from discam every time i wear makeup i'll take my brushes typically only my makeup brushes and i will either dip them in this and rub them um, like the eyeshadow out of them on a towel or toilet paper or tissue paper whatever and that way they are clean and fresh for me to use the next day or if i'm filming more than one look then i can just use them right away and then what i'll do is i'll deep clean my brushes once a week also affordable we're almost at the end next i have this from a brand called omni protect i also use the one from life boy and i love these sprays you know like if you want to sanitize a big area you don't want to keep like making drop drops of your other sanitizer so you just take this and you just spray and it's so much easier i have my ipad and my apple pencil and i love this team I have had my iPad for almost three years and I edit on it. I basically use it as a laptop. It does almost everything that a normal laptop does and it's so portable. I can just throw it in my bag. And I also bought this from Typo. It's a laptop sleeve top of a thing. And it just looks like that inside. I went out today and I had my iPad in there and I just took it with me <laughs> on my um, working from home days I will usually take my work laptop with me and instead of carrying a big bulky laptop bag I just put the laptop in here because it also fits I keep looking at myself instead of the camera please forgive me I haven't filmed since New Year's so i'm a bit rusty yeah lastly my sophie moda blue light glasses are they anti blue light or are they blue light glasses i'm not sure and these are from take a lot and i love them they make me feel like like 
Superman, like Clark Kent. It made me feel like things are possible. <laughs> yeah, those are the products that I enjoyed using and having during the year of 2021. If you want me to talk more about any of the items that I mentioned, just let me know. And I'll see you in my next video.